Right. And uh, this morning we're joined by Mr. George A.K., who is a member of the People's Democratic Party and also a lawyer. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you so much. Well, looking at uh, developments within your party, I mean, uh, it, it, it almost... I think I just have to get you to some of this uh, goings on intra party matters where you have the squabbles here, squabbles there tomorrow. They are all pitching themselves, preparing for the big one, uh, 2015, the elections there. But all of this development within your party, different states also. You think that, look, these are just normal things, and that when the chips are down, everybody will just fall in line, fall in shape, and uh, you get back to business. Or. With the formation of this new party, when they do that, isn't that going to be a major headache with all these challenges, or seeming challenges you have within the party? Well, the challenges you appear to have highlighted are part of politics. Indeed, <laughs> that is what makes politics very exciting. You know, the <laughs> intrigues when they come intra, either intra-party or inter-party, because after the intra-party intrigues, mm -hmm. you also face inter-party intrigues. Which, which you have also mentioned, uh, the formation or the merger of uh, opposition parties. That would be an inter-party intrigue. But the intra-party is, is uh, expected. Indeed, that is part of why the executive is there. That's why the chairman is there. That is why the chairman of the BOT is there. And that, if you have, you have noted that he's visiting quite a number of places, what we call the trouble spots, as it were, and trying to douse the tension and try to get the party together into one family. Uh, that is expected of him, and that is exactly what he is doing. And you think it's not too early in the day? Uh, well, you see, this is one of those things that uh, President Jonathan was avoiding when he said uh, he should not be distracted, you know, that he is not about to declare his intention uh, because he needs to focus on state matters and all of that. But you see, if, even if he doesn't get distracted, his attention has been called into what has become uh, the gunning of the political machinery. And that's the, the, Yes, the machinery has, has uh, gone into action. In short, it started with even the intrigue that followed the emergence of the national uh, chairman. You know, uh, you notice all the, all the bickering that went into it until the national chairman emerged. And then the chairman of the uh, board of trustees. All of that cannot... And then the governor's they, forum? They, they, yeah, of course. I mean, the, the, the governor's, governor's forum was a later event. But you see, these ones were quite fundamental in the sense that they were like the soul of the party, as it were. Governor's forum was uh, a mere distraction that had to be handled. Handled in the sense that uh, at a particular point in time, uh, the governor's forum was arrogating itself the power of uh, be it and end it all, you know. Uh, but uh, the party knew how to handle it, and uh, for some reason it is also, it's, it's also being handled, or is being handled, at least with the formation of the PDP Governors Forum. And that is nothing wrong with that. Freedom of association is what we, uh, we have uh, seen as having been guaranteed by our constitution. You can afford to associate with anybody you want to associate. So the PDP governors came together and said, hell, we know we are stakeholders in this government, and uh, we are quite a number. Why don't we begin to talk, you know, to ourselves and all of that? They suddenly so, realized that. Oh, no, the circumstances made them realize that. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, it is in place, too. But you see, looking towards 2015, which is essentially where, where, where all of this will be leading to, you are looking at uh, a major contest that is going to take place uh, between PDP and if and when registered APC. Why I said if? Because uh, there is a matter in court now with regard to those who say they originally have that name. And unless and until it is disposed, APC, the opposition parties cannot come out with that name. They, they may need to change, change to another name. In, in any case, we have also argued what is in the name, if their intention is right. But again, their intention, coming to their intention, I have always said that they are simply coming to grab power. Forget about all those progressive uh, definitions. You mean are, the same way PDP has? Oh, no, no. It's just like trying to elbow PDP out and then take over power. That is nothing like I have argued in this program. The people who people the parties are the same. <laughs> For purposes of emphasis, they are the same. The only way you can know is you can see how people meander from this party to the other one. The moment you don't get a platform to contest election, you end up in the other party. 
So okay, in other words, that is, this, whole, this whole story about ideology does not exist. Uh, Jamila, just let me put this <laughs> in. Uh, is that why sometimes yeah. we get to hear stories, especially uh, leading up to this measure, we get to hear stories like Afghan PDP, and perhaps maybe PDP has a hand in almost all political parties. Oh, you're sure. If they, for them to survive, they should be able to do such strategic hands. Using hand as a verb now. You know, so uh, for them to survive, they should be able to know what is happening in the other parties. If possible, influence it. If they can't influence it, they should be able to go with it. You know, we were talking rhetorically. We thought we that, that's what politics is all about. Because you cannot sit in your own enclave okay. and believe that by the time those people finish with whatever, of course, you know, political parties are usually nocturnal meetings. By the time they come out with their, from their nocturnal meetings, they will not hit you from where you didn't expect. We, so we, you we, should be able to monitor what they are doing. We thought it was rhetorical. Just, well, just well, like we, uh, APC people are also monitoring what, is, uh, what right. PDP is doing. You notice we, that uh, uh, Tunumbu opposed the governors, PDP governors forums in uh, Oshimole's uh, <laughs> uh, uh, bad day. But, so that means you that... You begin to wonder what would be his business about <laughs> if an, an intra-party organization. He is also bothered about... What but I'm not sure political do. parties will agree with you on this ideology matter because, I mean, we thought it was rhetorical when we said in the opening sequence, what's the basic difference between these political parties in the country? Because, I mean, they come in and say one thing, but in terms of their conduct, how they go about their activities, almost looking like it's the same. But now you hit it on the head and look, there's no difference. Ideology or not, there's the same thing. Uh, Tommy, you know that, okay, some of us that were taught ideologies those days of uh, the Cold War, I mean, between the East and the West, as it were, knew what Russia, China stood for. Socialism, we were taught about capitalism and all of Those were what we called ideologies. And for some reason, they are no longer there. They are, they are going extinct. Right. But you see, even China, that used to lock its gates to the world, as it were, is coming out 